Hello and welcome. This is my Mongoose Dolomite ALX and I've had this for about two weeks now and of course I've already started to tinker with it. You know it's kind of funny I keep thinking to myself one of these days I'm gonna buy a bike and I'm not gonna do anything to it except ride it. Well clearly this is not that bike. Specifically, I added a set of my favorite grips, ESI Super Chunkies. Well, okay, these aren't Super Chunkies, these are the regular ones because the Supers were not available in gray. I also added a Wake 45mm stem. The stock one is 85mm, and the reason I did this is that I prefer a more upright riding position on my flat handlebar bikes. It's easier on my back not to put too fine a point on it. I also upgraded the pedals. Now the ALX comes with Mongoose's standard plastic pedals with the molded in nubs. I wanted something with some real grip. So I got these Rock Bros alloy pedals. And the fact that they have coordinating black and silver graphics, well, that didn't exactly hurt my feelings. All right. Take two. You call me in the morning. Now, it doesn't matter how nice an upgrade looks on a bike. What matters is how well it performs. And, of course, the only way to tell that is to take said bike out for a ride. Well, I am happy that the trails in my area are beginning to dry out. One set of trails in particular are the Hallowell Reservoir Trails, which is just a short drive from me. And I like these trails. They're good proving grounds, if you want to call it that, for a first ride. Because the way they're configured, if something goes horribly wrong, I'm not going to be hiking with a broken bike for miles and miles and miles. Plus, it's just a nice pleasant area. I like it all the way around. Even on this slight incline, I'm already noticing that the ALX is a lot easier to climb with than my steel dolomite. This part of the ride took place near the end of the day. And by this time, I had found out several things about the ALX. As I alluded to earlier, it climbs a lot better than the steel dolomite does. That's no doubt due largely to the decrease in weight, you know, 36 pounds versus 43, makes a big difference. Although, that said, I did notice that I have a bit less inertia going downhill. So, you know, the extra weight's not necessarily a completely bad thing. Anyway, I think the other big factor is the gearing. The ALX has a 22-tooth small chainring combined with a 34-tooth low gear in the back, which makes climbing a lot easier, too. And it's funny, uh, for the vast majority of this ride, I never got off the small chainring. Um be that as it may. Something else I discovered is that uh, this bike has a pretty comfortable stock saddle. And as comfortable as it is, I don't want to sit on it all the time. By which I mean I'm gonna look around and see if I can find myself a dropper post for this bike. I freely admit I am spoiled having gone to dropper posts on my other mountain bikes. Tire pressure, I was running about eight front and rear. And in the winter time on snow, I would run around four or five, so I get a, a bigger footprint and better grip. But that's not really quite as necessary in these conditions. Still provided plenty of grip and traction. And you know, at the end of the day, I just had all kinds of fun with this bike. And that's what I love about these things. It's fun. 
I don't take myself very seriously. I mean, if you've seen one or more of my other videos, you know that to be a fact. <laughs> but I like to have a good time, and this bike is all set up for a good time. Regarding the MicroShift drivetrain, it worked pretty much flawlessly out of the box. And I mean literally out of the box. The only thing I had to do to it was tighten the rear derailleur cable by one quarter of one turn using the barrel adjuster. Other than that, I have no complaints whatsoever. In fact, that's true of the entire bike. This is a really good bike for just under $500. In fact, think of it in terms of value per cost. You get a conventional modern handlebar and stem, you get decent disc brakes, you get quick release wheels front and rear, you get a cassette, not a freewheel, and you even get a replaceable derailleur hanger. These sorts of features are practically unheard of in entry-level bikes, whether it's a fat bike, or a conventional mountain bike, or what have you. So this is, as I said, a darn good deal. <laughs> and uh, uh, no, Mongoose is not paying me to say this. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, both of which help the channel. And if you did enjoy this video, there's a link below left to my first look and overview of the ALX. And below right is a link to another video that I think you'll enjoy. And as always, seriously, thanks for watching. I sincerely appreciate that when you do. Goodbye and have a great day.